In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this stretch text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we first need to begin by creating some new text. So we'll go File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window here. And then we're just going to pull this out to the left. Select anywhere on the composition and type out a word of your choice. Then from there, you can just change the font. You can change the weight. You can increase the size of this font. You can change the color. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of that, we'll just center that up in the middle of this text by selecting these two center options. And we'll just exit this window and drag that title onto video layer one. And as you can see, we've got our title on our composition. So before we jump into this effect, you first want to figure out what part of the word you're going to do this stretching effect on. So in this example, I'm going to do this on the B. So I'm going to do this at the very beginning of the B. Now, before I jump into this effect, I'm first just going to pull the scale of this down a little bit because I'm going to stretch this left and right. So from here, we're just going to select the title. We'll go into opacity, select this rectangle tool, and we'll just drop that on the middle of the B and we'll just pull this mask over to the right. So this is the text on the right. Now we'll make a copy of this title so we can do this one of two ways. We can select Command C, move over, select Command V and drag that over. Or you can hold Option on your keyboard and drag the title up onto video layer two and that will make a copy. Now from here, you just want to flip the right position over to the left like so. And then if we zoom in just a little bit, let's zoom in to 150%. We'll move this over to the left and we'll pull the mask feathering down to 0%. There we go. So I'll leave that around there. We'll go back to the first layer, go mask one. We'll pull the mask feathering down again and we'll pull this just over to the right a touch. So as you can see, we've got our title, but we've got this missing layer here. So we'll select the second video layer. We'll make another copy. So hold option, drag that up. And now from here, you just want to go into that mask. We'll move over and we'll drag these two points of the mask over to the right. You really might want to zoom in to make sure that you've got this right. And you want to match this mask up to this line here. So you basically want to fill this gap. So we'll pull this bottom right over a touch. We'll pull the top right over a touch. And there you go. If we zoom back out, you should see we've now got a completed text. Of course, though, if we hide each layer, we've got the missing slice, which is going to stretch. We've got the left and then we've got the right. So we'll select somewhere, maybe a second in. And we're going to go ahead and we'll create a keyframe on the scale and position on every single layer. So top layer, we'll select position, scale, create a new keyframe. We'll go down to the second layer, position, scale, new keyframe. Bottom layer, position, scale, new keyframe. Now we'll move one second over towards the right. Selecting that bottom layer, we're just going to pull the position of this over to the right. Then we'll go to the second layer. So this is the left. We'll pull this over to the left. And then on this top layer, we can now go ahead and we can update the scale and the position. But before we do that, we just want to deselect uniform scale and we'll change scale height and we'll change scale width to 71. So that's gone back into position. Of course, though, we're now missing that keyframe on scale width. So we'll just go over those first keyframes, hover over those and create a brand new keyframe on scale width. So we've got position, scale height and scale width. Now we'll hover back over to that second set of keyframes, go back onto this middle layer and we're just going to increase the scale width to basically fill that gap. And you just want to go ahead and update the position of this in order to do so. So as you can see, that's getting there. We do need a little bit more of the width though. So we'll increase that width, pull the position over. Pull the position over again. Now this does take a little bit of finessing. You do have to try this a few times in order to get this perfect. See, now I've gone just a little bit too far potentially. So let's go 630 
We'll pull the position over to the left. And that is about right there. So we'll zoom back out. And if we play this back from the beginning, you can see we've now got that B stretching. Of course, though, I have accidentally just created the second set of keyframes after these. So I'm just going to delete those. And if we play this back, there you go. You can see we've got this stretching effect happening on the B. So that is the effect now complete. But if you wanted to group all of these text layers together, so rather than affecting each individual layer, you can control this as one text layer. You just want to go ahead and select everything right click, press nest. You can rename this to stretched text, press OK. And that's going to convert that into one layer. And that means if you wanted to add some keyframe animation, so we'll increase the scale. You can create a brand new keyframe at the beginning, change the value at the end. And this means we're going to add a nice zoom in on everything. And there you go. That is the stretch text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you wanted to see the After Effects version of this, there is a tutorial available. You should find it here somewhere. But thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.